this demo, I'm going to build a custom GPT. A custom GPT is a specialized version of ChatGPT that's tailored for specific tasks using custom instructions, knowledge, and actions. OpenAI allows developers to extend ChatGPT's capabilities by integrating custom actions, which let the GPT interact with external APIs, retrieve live data, or perform specific tasks beyond its built-in knowledge. In this demo, I build a trivia bot, a custom GPT designed for students that provides fun topic-based trivia questions. Users can choose a trivia topic. The trivia bot calls an API using a custom action to fetch real-time questions. And the bot presents a multiple choice trivia question, lets the user answer, and provides feedback on correctness. When building a custom GPT in OpenAI's GPT Builder, you have two options. You can start with Create, which is a quick start option that allows you to build a GPT using prompting, or Configure, which is a more detailed setup that gives you full control over how the GPT behaves. We'll start with Create, the quick start option, and see how far we can get. So here I'm logged into ChatGPT. I do have the Paid Plus plan, which you need in order to create a custom GPT. I'm gonna go to Explore GPTs. I'll go to My GPTs then create a GPT. Here are the two ways you could start to build a new GPT, create and configure. I'll start with create and I'll use prompting to start to create the GPT. Enter my first prompt. I want to create a custom GPT that retrieves fun topic specific trivia questions for high school students. The GPT builder will help me configure this GPT. First, it tries to come up with a name, trivia quest. Sure. Then it's going to try to generate a profile picture. That looks cool. I'll stick with that. Looks cool. Right out of the gate, I have something that should work. If I wanted to, I could stop right now. But I want to be more specific in my GPT configuration. I want to call an API for the trivia questions. And I have an API in mind. It's asking me to share the API details. So it can try to integrate it into the trivia bot. Let me show you the API that I want to use. I want to use the Open Trivia Database API. Here's the API documentation. I can use the API helper to generate an API URL. In this example, it's going to return one trivia question in the music category with medium difficulty. Then I can use this URL for testing. There it is, one random music trivia question. This shows me what the data is going to look like when I call the API. I need to provide the API URL and the format of the data to my custom GPT. Let me first try to do this via prompting. I want to use the Open Trivia Database API. A call looks like this. That's the sample URL. It's going to try to configure the GPT to use that API. It's asking me a few follow-up questions. I'll stick with medium difficulty. I want to allow users to specify a category. And it can format the questions any way it wants to. It's going to try to implement the API call for me in the GPT. We'll see if that works. Seems to be working. So it's telling me that it's set up the API call to fetch the trivia question. I could test my GPT at any point here in the preview pane. Let me try to get a science trivia question. Well, it provided a question and possible answers but I don't think it's calling the API to get the question because if it was, it would give me a warning. So I'm gonna dig into the configuration for this GPT. I can see the name, description, the custom instructions, the conversation starters. It did a good job with that. My custom GPT definitely doesn't need these capabilities. And here I'm gonna create a new action. This is where I'm gonna specify the API information. Here it's asking me for the schema of the API. I don't really know what it's looking for. So I'm just going to start up another chat in ChatGPT, tell it that I'm creating a custom GPT, and I need the schema for an API. I'll give, it my, I'll give it my sample call, see what it comes up with. Query parameters of the API. That's good. Here's an example response in JSON format. I'll start with this. Copy it. Paste it in here getting an error. It can't find a valid API URL. Let me just give the error to ChatGPT. Gave me updated schema information. 
but it looks like it's in a different format. YAML. I'll try it. Copy. Paste it here. Let's see if the configuration likes this. Not really sure. There are some error messages here. Just to be on the safe side, let me get it in the original JSON format. Can you provide it in JSON format like before? There it is. I see the API URL. Copy. Paste it in there. Still getting the same errors. Missing operation ID. Give that to ChatGPT. Updated JSON. There's the operation ID. Copy. Paste it in. Another error. Wrong version of Open API. I'll just change that here. Now I'll test the custom GPT again. Get a science trivia question. That's the warning I was looking for. I can see it's making a call to the API. I'll allow that. And there's the trivia question with the possible responses. I can even take a peek here at the response received and I can see the correct answer. See? That's correct. Now for testing purposes, let me specify a trivia question in a category that I don't think exists in the API. Shoes. Let's see what happens. It does give me a question with possible responses, but it's not calling the API. I'm not getting the warning. I want my trivia bot to tell me if a category doesn't exist in the API and to prompt me to provide another one. I don't want it to make up its own question. Let me take a look at the configuration for my custom GPT. I'll go back here and I'll click configure. I'm going to take a look at the custom instructions that the builder created for my GPT. I can see the instructions are not specific enough. Here it says that the GPT could generate questions. I want to tell it to explicitly use the API. So here I'm going to say the GPT will fetch questions in real time from the API. And that it should only pull questions from the API. If a category doesn't exist, it should stop everything and tell me and ask me for a new category. Now let's try the GPT again. Ask it for a trivia question in shoes. There it is. Shoes is not a trivia category in the API. I'll try another category and I can see now it's calling the API. Maybe the answer is B? Not quite. My bad. Let me just reset this here. One last thing I could do if I wanted to is I could change these conversation starters. Those are listed here in the configuration. Let me try pop culture, calling the API. Chilled monkey brains. I think I know this one. Doesn't everyone? It's definitely D. Great. The last thing I want to try to do is share this custom GPT with another user. In red, I do see a warning that GPTs with public actions need a privacy policy. I'm just going to quickly create one of those just for demonstration purposes. Just as an example, I'm going to use privacypolicies.com. I'll create a privacy policy for an app. I'll provide the name of the app. Trivia Quest. I'm an individual. Pennsylvania. I don't get any personal information from users. I'll just say others. No other additional information. Next step. I suppose they could contact me by email. I'll use learn the technology with bk at gmail.com. Nothing else needed here. I don't want to upgrade. I don't want a professional policy. Again, my email address to receive a link to the policy. Let me generate it. I can send myself a confirmation link. I confirm that. And I also see a link to the privacy policy here on the page. So I'll copy that. Go back to my GPT builder. Go to configure. Go to my custom action. Scroll down to the privacy policy field and paste in the URL. Now I'll update my GPT. Go back here. 
open the GPT, update it. Now I can copy the link and share the GPT. I'll paste it in another browser window. There's Trivia Quest. I can see it calls the API. I'll approve that. And here's my pop culture question about Star Wars. And I think the answer is D. Fantastic.